Okay. <laughs> so, what's up guys? <laughs> I am back making another what's in my hospital bag video. This is my third hospital bag I've ever packed and it's honestly the, like I don't have as much as I took with my other two pregnancies because over time I have learned that you don't really need that much when you're going to the hospital because a lot of the stuff they do, at, at least at my hospitals, they have provided for me. But yeah, so I really like making these videos. I think they are so fun and I can't wait to show you what I've, I'm taking with me to the hospital for my third baby girl. Okay, so basically I am just taking a normal like rolling suitcase and I really like taking rolling suitcases because it's just easy for my husband to will it in and will it out. <laughs> and so I have stuff packed for myself. I have stuff packed for the baby and for my husband all in this bag. Um, a normal stay for me ha like at the hospital, they normally keep me about three days. Um, they normally keep me about three days at the hospital. And then, um, if I request, like if nothing's wrong with the baby, then they might send me home t within 24 hours. So it just really depends on how the labor goes and how baby is after birth. Also, if you have like a C-section, they make you stay four days. So it just really depends on how your labor goes. But I packed for three days just in case. Um, all right. So first thing I'm taking, I just opened the bag up. I'm gonna take a second bag. <laughs> Within my bag, I'm taking another bag. But I'm taking this bag, this little like tiny bag. Um, I'm going to take this because the hospital always gives you stuff to take home. They give you diapers, they give you postpartum care stuff like the ice packs, the giant pads, the mesh underwear, um, the, like just stuff you need <laughs> for postpartum and then for the baby. So I like to take a second bag just to pack all that stuff away and make it easy to tote out of the hospital. So yes, I'm taking another bag. <laughs> okay, then I have packed clothes for myself. I'm literally just taking a t-shirt because I like to be comfy and then it's cold in the hospital. So I'm taking a sweatshirt and then I'm taking this just kind of like, this shirt I will fit me after I push the baby out um, because it fit me. You, my rule of thumb is if it fit you at seven months pregnant, it will probably fit you postpartum. So this fit me at seven months pregnant and it hangs pretty low so I can breastfeed. <laughs> And it's, it's like, I don't know if I want to take a picture or something, then I have it, um, to do that with. Um, and if I have visitors, then I'll wear this shirt and it's loose and it's just comfy and, but it's not just like a plain t-shirt. You know what I'm saying? Like I, if I have a visitor come, I just kind of like to look a little nicer for that day. Cause they normally do take pictures and that's normally the only pictures I get. <laughs> of myself with my baby in the hospital is if someone else comes and takes it for me. So yeah, I, I like to have something like that for the visitors. And then for my husband, I'm just taking him a t-shirt and some sweatpants. And then I, the only thing I don't have in this bag that I do need to get is I need to get some sweatpants because my sweatpants stopped fitting me around six months. So I do need to go and get some that I can wear in the hospital after I give birth because I don't want anything like tight and that's going to restrict my movement because that's just not comfortable after you give birth and you're sore. So yeah, but I have my husband's sweatpants. Okay, so that's all the clothes I'm bringing for me and my husband. And then I am bringing this toy and it plays lullabies it's just a little song draft and it's soothing music and I really like these because um, my second daughter she has like a little song there and that is what she sleeps with every night and it just soothes her to sleep so I kind of wanted to start that with my third baby <laughs> um, give her something soothing to listen to as she's going to sleep and 
um, this will hopefully get us home from the hospital without any tears because that's how it worked with my second. She loves, she like traveled with her song bear and everything. So it was like perfect for her. Then I do, I do go a little overboard when I take um, blankets, but they all have a purpose. And I've done this with all three of my kids. So I couldn't just stop with my third, but I take um, a swaddle blanket. And this time I have two cause I couldn't choose. So they both have elephants on it because that's her animal <laughs> for this time. Each of my kids have, I give an animal and then that's kind of like their thing. So my first daughter, she was turtles. My second daughter was dinosaurs because dinosaurs are awesome. And then my third baby is elephants. So yeah. And then whichever one I use in the hospital is going to be like her blanket for like her whole first year of life. Like we'll take it everywhere and it'll just be like her baby blanket. I don't know. I'm very sentimental. So I like to do things like that. Um, so yeah. I don't know which one I'm going to use the most, but I took two. And then um, with, with each of my kids, they have a color. So my first baby, she was, um, her theme color was purple. Then my second baby, her theme color was green. And then this baby's theme color is blue. And so we always get a knitted blanket. That is their color. <laughs> and then I have their newborn pictures taken on their blanket. And then once again, this is just something I take weekly pictures of my kids. And so every week I will take her picture on this blanket and then I make a book at the end of their first year with um, all the pictures. So you can just see how she grew and hopefully I can keep it up because with my second baby, it was hard to remember to take the picture because I was so busy. So hopefully I don't forget. <laughs> but yeah, so I am taking these three blankets to the hospital. Then I am taking um, a sound machine. <laughs> and this is something I feel like is a necessity if you are going, um, well, let me just say this. <laughs> so with my second baby, when I went to the hospital, there were a lot of people coming in and out and you could hear the noise from the hallway. So anytime I would lay my baby down to go to sleep at night, she could hear people talking and stuff and it would wake her up. So I ended up using my phone as a sound machine while we were in the hospital and um I could only set the sound machine on my phone to like 15 minutes so I'd have to keep restarting it so this time I'm like I'm just gonna take the full sound machine with me <laughs> so that I can just plug this in turn it on and we can just cancel out all the noise in the hall and then hopefully she'll sleep a little better in the hospital the hospital stay is rough you guys because I don't get any sleep and my baby normally doesn't get any sleep so I'm just trying to do things to make it a little bit easier on both of us so hopefully this will help um i've never taken a sound machine before but like i said last time i wish i wish i would have taken this um i am also taking a towel because i just like to have my own towel there's nothing wrong it is um it's your preference if you want to take a towel then take a towel do what is best for you and what makes you comfortable um, but yeah, I'm taking a towel. I'm taking a black towel because you bleed a lot and I don't want to ruin any of the other towels that I have that are white. So we're going to take a black towel and yeah, um, but that'll be for when I take a shower. Oh yeah, I gotta get shower shoes. What am I thinking? Yeah, I don't have shower shoes in this bag either. So I do take shower shoes. <laughs> They're just not packed in here. I gotta buy some more because I lost my other pair. Um, okay. Then I am taking this my comfort cross this is just something that makes me feel at peace and comfortable and it helps me just to stay calm and it centers me so I like to take that with me I, I basically take that everywhere you guys I have really bad anxiety and in on my bad days if I'm having a bad day with like if you've been following me for a while you'll know I have like PTSD and stuff like that so on my bad days that gets me through it <laughs> Um, anyway, um, I'm also going to take headphones. Uh, I don't really think I'm going to use these, but my husband might need some headphones. Um, I don't really like listening to the stuff he watches cause he watches kind of like, he likes to play video games. So he watches like a lot of video game stuff that's boring. So just for him. So I don't have to hear it. Um, <laughs> then what else do I have? I also have 
newborn clothes that I'm taking. And I have uh, one, two, three, four, five pairs. And yes, that does seem excessive, but with my babies, they normally have a blowout or like poop or I don't, I don't know. They normally find a way as little babies <laughs> to mess them up, mess up their outfits. So instead of like keeping them in something dirty, I'll have a change hopefully. Um, and then that way I have choices because I like to have choices <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with some choices. Um, but yeah, I did pack a lot of clothes for her and I mean, it is what it is. Um, so I have newborn clothes. I guess, if you guys want to see them, I'll just show you just in case someone out there cares about what my baby might be wearing. So I have this cute little outfit and it says little sister on it. And then it has giraffe for the feet. And I don't know, everyone bought me these clothes. I didn't buy any. Um, and then this one says little sister on it. And it's just blue with polka dots. And then it's got little flowers around the collar. And then I have this one that's got little animals all over it. And I'm pretty sure there might be, yeah, there's an elephant. So her theme is elephant, so that's appropriate. But then it's got little giraffes for the feet too. And then I have this one and it's just a pink with little flowers on it. It's just really cute. And then the last one's my favorite and it's just a little fleece one with elephants. So, and she is gonna, well, she said her due date is November 22nd, so it should be cold when she's born. So warmer clothes for her. With my other two babies, they were born during warmer season. So this is the first time I've ever had to pack for like a cold, like leaving and it's actually gonna be cold when we leave. Um, so yeah, that's the clothes I took for her. And then with all of my babies, I have their newborn pictures taken with this bow. So she will have this bow on her head and her newborn pictures and it's just lace with a purple flower and it's just kind of tradition. So like I said, I'm very sentimental. So she's got to wear the bow in the picture. I don't know which outfit I'll put, which I guess whichever one matches the bow is the one she's going to wear in her newborn picture. But, and then this hat, um, all of my babies have worn this hat in the hospital. So I had to take that. Then I have this cute one. I'm telling you guys, I I don't overpack for me. I just overpack for my kids because they have so many cute clothes. But this one just has like a little knot at the top. So um, I have lots of hats. And then this one with the pretty little bow on the top. And she's going to be born around Thanksgiving. So all of my babies have also worn this hat. So I had to bring it in. Yeah, it's just a pumpkin and then it has these little booties that go with it. And all my kids have worn, worn this outfit. Normally they wear this around Halloween, but you know, Thanksgiving, it works for Thanksgiving too. So she'll be have, wearing that. And then I have just like a soft little pair of socks. None of her outfits, she's really gonna need socks, but you never know. I just brought socks and they're really soft. Um, and then I have burp cloths. Um, my mother-in-law made these for me, so. This one has elephants on it. So this will probably be the one I use the most. Um, but I'm taking three because if I am there for three days and she spits up a lot, then I got three clean burp cloths. <laughs> so yeah, these are all, I, I've used this one like a thousand times. This one was for my, made when I had my first baby. So they're getting kind of old, but they still do the job. And then this one, and these are awesome. Like my mother-in-law made the best burp cloths because they have like this lining in it. So they're not thin. So you're not getting like spit up through the burp cloth. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just gross, but they're really thick and I like it. So, um, yeah. Oh, and then the last thing I'm taking is my boppy pillow. So when I gave birth to my first baby, I didn't use my boppy pillow like at all. Um, but then with my second baby, I didn't take the bobby pillow and I actually really wish I would have had it because, um, 
I had, I don't know why, I just had a hard time holding my baby up as I was feeding her. So I would take pillows that, I had like the hospital give me so many pillows for my room because I would use them to prop her up. So this time I'm going to take my boppy pillow. To, um, so if I need to use it, then I have it. And I mean, yeah, it's bulky and it's going to take up some space, but at least I'll have it if I want to use it. That is all for my what's in my hospital bag for the third time video. And um, maybe leave a comment down below and tell me what you, um, what you take to the hospital when you, or what you have packed. Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Sorry, you guys. I'm like super exhausted at this point. I'm like ready to give birth, but okay. So I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.